Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man bed, Chad and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Um, I want to thank you all for coming back. We appreciate it. Today, I think I'm going to make the porthole openings for the porthole window um, that's in the 55 to the 57. Uh, and the reason I think, or the reason I think that I want the porthole window in there is because the 58 to 60, or whatever year these cars went to, did not have it. Um, I'm trying to emulate the 55, 56, 57. They had the porthole in it. Uh, this car did not have it. This car was a, a four-seater. Uh, theirs was a two-seater. I'm making this a two-seater, so I may, I may as well make that window to really make it stand out. I think it does stand out with the smaller roof on it. Um, as a three-window, I think it does stand out, but some people probably wouldn't guess right away what exactly what's going on but as soon as I put that porthole window in there I feel like it's really going to say they're going to come up to it and say wow something's going on here and if I do not do that put that porthole window there's probably going to you know some people could walk up on it and think well it could have been or not for sure but uh, this car did not have the porthole window so I, that's why I think I want to put it in uh, before I start doing the porthole window uh, we're going to show you the pedals one more time because we did not finish them the last time i just kind of stuck them in there and i put i weld the pieces on there so they're on both sides on the same side of the pedal and hey something different um, we are we are customizing this car to our preference we made the pedals so we might as well um, continue on with everything else so with this window here, I feel like I'm going to do sort of the exact same thing I did with the back window. Uh, we bring the pictures up of the 55, 56, 57. I keep saying it. First year Thunderbird, we bring that up and the window is sunk in there a little bit. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go, but we got to make the opening of the window first. Uh, I started with a, with a can. I got a, I got a feather fill can. Um, what I'm thinking is that that's a bit a bit small. I've got some 14 gauge here. That's heavy. I'm going to pick that up. I think that's a bit small, so I'm going to run around and try to find something else to make it the window just a little bit bigger. Can't pick that up. Ah, there we go. So we got that piece of metal there. Uh, just going to look around real quick. I got a tail light here. And I got a, I got a hubcap, dog dish we call them. The reason we call them a dog dish because you turn it over, you can put water in it. Which is hubcaps bigger than the than the tail light. Do you like that size? Yeah, it looks good. Is that the size you think? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, she says. It seems small, a little bit. Is that? Let's do it again. Grab something else and we'll see if that's perfectly round. It don't look bad. Just gonna check out a couple things else here. Get a can. Got one of these. Which is bigger? That's smaller than the tail light. And it's about a half inch bigger, smaller than the I you like the hubcap. I'm just going to grab the other hubcap just to see if it's not bent. I don't know if that one's bent or not. Ooh. I may as well take a marker and draw it on there then I'll know if I like it or not.
the reason we're putting this on, or the reason I think I want to put it on, is because these cars do not have it. That's too big. I think it is. Don't you? To me, that looks way too big. To me. It's, and it's the eye of the beholder. Some people might... Well, this is, this is where everybody can comment. Yeah. What circle you like the best. Make sure you write in your comment what circle you like the best. See, it shows like it's got a ring around it and everything just, you know, just going like that. And so if, if I go with the, the bucket, um, when I put the metal on the circle, if I make, make the circle, you can see the hubcap's a little bit out of shape, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the circle of the buckets eat better. But when I do the metal going around the circle, I'm going to lay the metal out on the, on the edge on the outside here. I'm not going to lay it in here. I'm going to lay it out here. So it, that will be your true size of your, of your window. I think I like the bucket better. What do you think? Do you like the bigger one better or do you like the... I like the bucket. All right, she's gonna she settled with the bucket. I just think that's too big. I think it's too it takes up too much of the roof. All right, I'm gonna put the hubcaps down. We have a winner. It's not the tail light. It's not the the hubcaps. It's the bucket. Uh, where I have the bucket like that, I think what I'm gonna do is is I'm just gonna use the bucket and the plasma cutter to cut that out, to try to make it as quick as possible. So if you want to make a, we, uh, a, a window opening for your car, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing, or you can do it any way you want to. Just think of that. And you know what that does? When you get to do what you want to do, that makes you the happiest, if you do not know. Alrighty. This is a plastic bucket, and this is uh, molted uh, fire. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. And we're getting bigger because of... getting squiggly because I think the bucket's melting. <laughs> and it did. But it's not bad. Places you gotta cut. I probably could freehand it. Probably. Alrighty. I don't mind that. Let's cut another one. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab another bucket. No harm, no foul. Just melt at the top a little bit. We'll grab another bucket. I got another one there. Why not? You know, there's a lot of people. I think there's a lot of people. I'm not quite sure if there's a lot of people. Um, a lot of people saying whether porthole or no porthole. But you have to think about it for a minute. Um, if 
this car did not have the porthole that kind of just makes the reason why we should put a porthole in my opinion and you know what my opinion is just a belly button I have to say congratulations to Pat's restoration from Pat's Pro Restos P Pat's Pro Restros yep. Pat's Pro Restros in Australia uh, we did a video there and Jolene called it the best uh, restoration. restoration shop in Australia. And by the sounds of things, she wasn't far off. Um, they just won uh, the biggest award. They sweep the whole thing, did they not? They won yeah. every award going in the whole competition. Mm -hmm. um, it's something I guess like America would have. It'd be like the um, Grand National Roadster Show, but um, there's a lot more to it than that actually is there not yeah uh, there's a driving of. test there's there's everything um you know that's not a good comparison more like the riddler isn't it well it's more than the riddler yeah. it's kind of it's a in australia uh, their biggest show you have to um have the best paint the best looking car the, the, the best the best of everything and it also has to drive and do a course. Mm -hmm. um, cars around here and the big shows that we have uh, basically don't have to do it all. You can start them up, push them in or whatever. You set them there, you look at them, fine. Um, these cars have to go through a course, drive, stop, start, um, all that sort of stuff and have best paint and, and look the best and be whatever. Um, but Pat and their team won it and I want to say congratulations to them because it was quite something else. When we walked in there uh, in this room that we were watching them build the car, we got to see them uh, working on the car. Uh, it was quite amazing what extent they were going to. And for me, I've, I've never seen nothing like that before. And uh, it was quite an eye opener. And it would take quite a team um, to do exactly what they have done. Um, it was a uh, a Holden is it like it was an, a, an Australian car that yeah, they had done I think it's a no, Falcon an, I don't know yeah it was, it was a Falcon I'm pretty sure it was a Falcon um, Pat's Pro Restorations you can probably google it and you can get to see it but um, when we were there they were even like just polishing the insides of the doors underneath the car just everywhere and everything that they done to it there were so many things that you'd probably take half an hour an hour just to go like I showed you a set of pedals well, it, they could go on for a half hour or an hour telling you everything that they've done to it, that they changed, done, fixed, changed, whatever. But uh, congratulations. Hats off to them. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. Think they're cutting circles with buckles? <laughs> no. Circles with buckles. Ah. A little hot there in the end. So what did you do to your your Thunderbird here, uh, bad chat? Well, I made some some pedals and I cut holes for the for the windows, the buckets. <laughs> Can you imagine? You can keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Yeah, I'm glad we got to see that when uh, we went to Australia. That was nice to see. And if I knew the name of the show, I probably couldn't say it anyways. When I get over there, I couldn't say anything. Couldn't <laughs> talk. Uh, Carl Albin. 
Carrelvin. Carrelvin was where? Yeah! <laughs> oh, Rod would like that, wouldn't he? Yeah. Carrelvin. You've been practicing. So you can go back on there on uh, the videos from Australia and you can see Pat's resto rods. And they won the big, the biggest in Australia award. And if I got it wrong, I've been wrong before. And if I act like when I say something, I know what I'm talking about, it's because I've done it before and I've made the mistake. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sounds simple, doesn't it? If I know what I'm talking about, it's because I've done it before and I've made that mistake. I know what you're thinking. You'll never be able to see through that. <laughs> Just on the, on the first step, that's all. Okay. So, that's what I'm thinking. That That's the size of the window. That's what I'm thinking. That's the size of the window. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Can you see that window at all? No, I can't. All right, I need I need some pieces of metal off this piece to wrap around those. That's what I'm thinking. I have the pieces have been cut. If I had some flat bar, that'd be perfect. But I have not got any flat bar. I'm hoping that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of tape and run it around the outside edge of that and see if that's long enough before I even cut it. Not that it really met much matters, because I'm probably gonna cut it anyways, but um, this is what I wanna do. So, circles here. This is my little trick to find the circumference that's the, that's what is in it the circumference the circumference short it's not going to do it not going to do it I have a piece here one of them nope I bet you them pieces are all the same all right I'm going to throw this piece down reason being is uh, this piece is not going to give me the length that I want, so I'm going to cut it out of that piece. Exact same stuff. And this is a, a 14 gauge, I'm thinking, left over from a previous job I was doing. that over this side. That over there. Now, I want a ruler. I would like to cut it with a ruler. That way there I can get myself a, a straight line to go by. Always just looking down things. If, if it's not straight, I can't get a straight line. But if I use it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to mark it. Give me the same distance on either end. Should get a pair of vice grips or a couple pair of C clamps to hold it in place. Poop in a group now, aren't I? Huh? Ouch. That didn't feel good. Do you remember how long it took them to build that car? 
or what, what was going on. Do you remember anything a little bit about it? I could I could say some dates and numbers, but I'm not positive. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, boys. Well, they, you know, it's a big project. It was a big project. Yeah. Now, do I want to go in? I think the back is three quarter inch. Should I, I should probably do the exact same for the side as three quarter inches. Three quarter. Probably should do the exact same. I'm going to do it. Three quarter inch. What I'm looking at is the back window. I use a three quarter inch, three quarter inch angle iron to get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three quarter inch on that and apply it on that. See what happens. Yeah, I do stuff all the time just to see what happens. Nose is running a little bit cold here this morning, isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. Just a little, just a little bit. Now, I get this. I'm gonna put something on that so it's a little bit heavier. Transmission mount will work. Just wanna eye this up and see if I'm gonna get a good line on that. Not bad. And let's do it. One looks about the same width all the way along, does it not, sweetheart? All right, up. Look good? Not bad. Not bad, she says, boys, not bad. <laughs> Yeah, the heat turned that see the heat just from cutting that turned that around you know made that go like that not a bad thing just I have to pay attention to it that's all and the reason I have to pay attention to it because I'm going to wrap it around that I'm going to mark another one we're going to need another one because we're not going to get two out of one piece no, we're not. Joey looks amazing today, as always. Took a little bit to get me going this morning, did it, baby? Took me a little bit to get fired up and get going. Mm -hmm. Some days are like that. Out there and got some motorcycles running, boys. Got some motorcycles running this morning, I did. Aiden's out helping me clean some of them. Got some motorcycles running. Went okay. Uh, yeah, everything went okay. Let's cut it.
a little longer cut that time. Alright, now, let's shut that off. I should have left it running to let the air run through it, probably cool that tip off. That's what it's all about, probably. When the air was coming through, you could hear the air going through that. I'm thinking that it's running to keep the tip cool. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's turn the sucker around. Let's get off the slag. I find that to knock off the slag with a pick hammer is much easier than grinding it off. You just got to hit it, that's all. I think we need all that, that's fine. Slag off this one. Flapper wheel, knock off the access. Get that rock and rolling. For anybody that's new, we are customizing a 58 Thunderbird from a four-seater to a two-seater um, that we acquired from Jamie Brand, a friend of mine from um, probably half hour away. He called us and asked us if we'd like to look at it. And then when we got there, we were quite surprised how good it really was and how much work was done on the car. Quite nice. Gonna run this around there real quick just to knock off any bumps. They look fine. You got a little, little uh, chunky in a couple places, but that's fine. We're gonna be welding it up, so it should be okay. Well, these bad boys up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this three-quarter inch that I cut off of the 14 gauge and I'm going to apply it to the circle that we cut. That's what I'm going to do. Now that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty. Now I'm just going to 
apply it just like this. I'm just going to wrap it right around. I'm hoping that we are. So I'm going to get it like we always do. Get that half and half thing going on so I can stop it. Stop it. <laughs> That's the hardest part sometimes is to hold something, I guess. I'm having a hard issue right here right now. I'm going to sit down. Now, you can see how I laid that on there, like always. I'm going to lay it right on that edge so I can weld it. And when I grind it off, I can grind that weld off. Yeah, we're just going to roll that along there. Halfing it the whole way. And that way there, when we grind it off, we'll grind this part, and then we'll grind this part, and we'll leave the weld on the edge. But that's what I'm going to tell you. And that's what we're going to do. And if I get burnt, it's part of the job. Isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. It's part of the job. I don't want to get burned, but... I don't want to get burned. Now I'm thinking that my flat piece will make this straight, or, you know, me holding it in the right place will make that straight, so... No fear. I used to make bread can bread pans as a kid. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Although we made cookie cutters in industrial arts. <laughs> cookie cutters. Yes, we did. Did you ever make a cookie cutter in industrial arts? I don't remember. Did you take industrial arts? Yep. Probably one of my favorite um, courses for industrial arts. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Is it cut? We could have put a, a heart in there. Exact same process. Triangle, teardrop. We could have basically done every, anything we wanted in there. Uh, we stuck with um, the north. gap there. Dinner! Alright, 
Push it back down again. And do the other one. Someone come in, come in and see me sitting on the floor. They probably wouldn't think I would do nothing at all, would they? <laughs> Playing around. I have to throw another uh, another shout out to Brunt that um, supplied the boots. Best pair of boots I've ever had. Uh, you know, I'm probably not a guy that spent a lot of money on a pair of boots. Well, when I was a kid, I would spend money on sneakers. I would collect beer bottles and everything, whatever it took to get the best pair of sneakers for school, but pick strawberries, man, you name it. I'd do anything I could to get the best pair of sneakers, but I never really, you know, when you went to work, I, my first thought wasn't buying the best pair of boots to go to work. <laughs> it was not. But uh, I must say, Brunt builds a nice pair of boots. And I would not say that if it was not true. No, I wouldn't. Making sure I'm keeping that distance that I need for for the weld for the for the weld, just so it stays on there. And also, I must say about Pat's um, Pro Pats, Restos. Pro Restos. Um, they were a good, great bunch of guys too, weren't they? Not like yeah, you know, they, all, they also can build a, a fad tabulous car, obviously, because they won the biggest award in Australia. But uh, they also were a bunch of nice guys. Sometimes it's hard to get the both, you know. Sometimes you can build a build a nice car, but I won't say it. I won't say it. Get me mad and I will. <laughs> so you just put anything. So the deal is, how fast can you build yourself a set of portholes? Huh? How fast? Now, as I'm going around that, and um, if it, you know, if I have a little bit of out of shapeness at all, you know, like at all, just a little bit out of shapeness at all, we have to remember that the, this piece here is getting welded into the side of the car. And that means there's going to be a little filler work around there. So that any little tiny spot that doesn't really look the greatest, a little bit of filler. It's going to need filler anyways. There doesn't look the roundest, so I'm just gonna. Oh. Beautiful.
And also you got your hammer, ha hammer it around a little bit, make it what you want it to be. Right. Give me a little, uh, little out of shape on that one. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. All right, let's see right here. I can mess with that at any time. Okay, let's check this. get the welder. And I'm gonna weld that all the way around there uh, and then grind it off so it looks nice. Let's, let's do one really quick. Let's do one really quick. And then that way there, I can cut the center out of it. I'm thinking that if I cut the center, what I'm thinking is if I weld it up first, I'm more apt to what? What am I more apt to do? Hmm. I'm just thinking if I cut this, what up? This is, this is, this is my, my window. This is going to be my window. But now I need a place. This is going to be where I'm going to weld it to the car. This outside is. But now we're going to put a, cut this ring out on the inside. But what I'm thinking is, if I cut the ring out on the inside first before I weld it all up, um, there's less metal to hold it in place. So I'm thinking that all this metal here is going to hold it in place a little, just a little bit better as I weld it up. So I might as well try to weld it up. I might as well try to just weld one up with the back on it. I'm going to run with it. As quick as I can. And that way there, we can get it done for you. Hoping I'm hitting where I need to hit. Alrighty. Nah, it's not so bad. Not so bad. Alright, so I gotta do that to this one. But what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut the center of this one. Where are we at for time? 44. And the reason I asked Jolene for time, you know, I don't really want to take anybody over an hour's worth of time. Um, I try to get something done within the hour. And that way there, you know, you know, I could have a, do a video for four or five hours if you'd like. I just carry on, keep doing what I'm doing. But let's face it, um, not everybody's got that much time to watch. And those who do come and watch, we appreciate it. I want to, what do I want to do? I want to put something in there to give me the same three-quarter inch distance all the way around. I wonder how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do this. 
Put my finger right here. They're all right around. Just like any other towing. That's hot. Better hurry up. That match right on. Now, I'm saying that's good enough to put the window on. That's where the window, that's the cutout that I need. I got time to weld that one up and cut them both out. Let's do it. I think I do. I'm gonna weld that one up with the hay. Didn't take very long, and I'll cut them both out at the same time. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I can say I made two window frames within the hour and cut them out for two, for having porthole windows. Barely see. Can barely see. Sitting along as quick as I can. Same, we got it all the way along there. There might be a couple little places I want to touch up. But other than that, yeah, it don't look bad. Dinner. Alrighty. Now. Plasma cutter. Ground. This out of the way. She got your wings taking them off for me. Probably could have done it faster. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna cut these out by hand, I guess. Like it there.
I'm on now. I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. Stop it. Oh, there's the, I gotta start over, there it is there. Port window. So good there. Push down the outside of the line. Then I can sh I can come in here and, and shape it a little bit better after with my grinder. I'm gonna have to grind it anyways. So. That guy stops whistling at you, <laughs> baby. There we go. Dinner. Alrighty, we got two portholes, or two um, framework, two frameworks for portholes uh, to put in the side of the 58. Now, the framework is just the beginning of it. Now, obviously, it's just like this over here, this framework here to put this window in. Now we've got the framework to put this in. Uh, you come back tomorrow, and then we'll cut the hole in the roof, and then we'll apply these. Uh, Why you're um, not watching, I'll be working. I'll be grinding these off, cleaning these up, making them look nice. Uh, we'll do the measuring probably when you come back and that sort of stuff. We'll all grind these up, make these look nice. Flapper wheel them all off in the back, get the slag off them, uh, make them look as round as possible. Um, that's what we'll do. And then we can apply them tomorrow and then we'll get to see the visual of what they're going to look like. You come back tomorrow and we'll be here. Like, subscribe. What else? Comment. Share. Them glasses are too big for me. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. See you later.